Welcome to the Bright Inside Digital Health C-Suite Series. I'm Chitra Navat. Joining us today is Rich Yang, CEO of BioLink. Rich, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell us about BioLink, what the company does, how it all works. Sure. We are a bio-wearable company, and we're the first bio-wearable bio company to develop a sensor to sense glucose in the dermis. So we sense biomarkers in the upper strata of the reticular dermis, which is a very highly metabolically active tissue, ideal for sensing. And our first product will be for continuous glucose. And this, uh, it may be hard to see, but it is one of the smallest electrochemical biosensors ever developed. It's been a 10-year development effort, and we put that biosensor on this wearable, and this wearable has a user interface built into it, and it's worn on your forearm. So it gives you real-time biofeedback on your glucose levels on the sensor itself, and all the connectivity behind it as well. So tell me then about what was life, what is life like for me before or without this, and then as a result of using this? Sure. I'm going to talk about a case of type 2 diabetes for somebody that's not necessarily taking insulin. So for the majority of people with type 2 diabetes, it's very difficult to know where your glucose levels are at. So you have to take a finger stick, draw blood, get a number, and then manage your diabetes based on occasional episodic readings. So with this, this gives you real-time biofeedback. So as you're wearing this, you don't have to prick your finger. And when your glucose levels rise, the sensor will show you on the display itself when you're high. And when you're in target range, it also shows you, hey, you're doing great. Keep it up. Um, without having to draw blood, without having to prick your finger. And you get all of your information on an app as well. So um, we also have activity built in here. So we have the context around what you're doing and how your metabolic health is doing. So you have your continuous glucose information and activity and sleep. So we give you context all in one disposable. So you don't have to go and find other sources of, of information with other devices, combine them all on the back end. It's all here on one disposable device. So where in the healthcare ecosystem do you fit in, in terms of are you directly engaging with the consumer, the payer, the provider, the life science or biopharma company? Where are you in this intersection and what's the engagement model? All of the above. Um, our priority in designing this product is to bring a new user experience to people living with diabetes. So this is perhaps architected to be one of the most highly engaging forms of sensing. So because you can see your metabolic health through a color schema, through LED lights on this wearable, we have this show up in your peripheral vision on your forearm as you're wearing it. So to help support sustainable behavior change, with cognitive restructuring and positive reinforcement, you need a few things. You need real-time biofeedback when teachable moments arise. And that needs to happen passively so you can have that cause and effect. So if I drink that heavy glass of orange juice and my glucose levels skyrocket, there's no other way for me to know that cause and effect unless I'm taking a finger stick, checking my blood glucose, or wearing a continuous sensor to let you know that, hey, maybe that was a little bit too much sugar for you. Yeah, so we're addressing all of the above. So um, this is designed to be the simplest form of sensing. So not only for consumers, uh, for prescribers, um, perhaps um, the easiest to train and teach on. Um, very few steps to put this on. There's no blood, there's no pain. Um, so we are not yet FDA cleared. So this is still in development stage. We're in the final mile. But uh, the caveat is we're still not FDA cleared at this time. How do you think about uh, the ecosystem in terms of who you partner with, uh, whether it's large companies or other digital health startups like Bright Insight? Sure. We're architecting this product to be the most ubiquitous plug and play bio wearable. So that means for groups that are already in the digital health space providing services to consumers and um, large self insured payers. Um, we're a plug and play into that ecosystem. So there will be um, certainly many use cases where this technology can be leveraged, whether it's direct to the consumer um, as a uh, 
cash pay product or a reimbursed product and or plug and play into a disease management platform. You talked about um, not having FDA uh, approval as of yet. Other barriers, other barriers for you that you're facing? The digital health platform. It is, um, it is a very expensive pathway to build a digital health ecosystem from scratch, from the ground up. Um, all the compliance around the world, the privacy, security, cybersecurity, all of these things are not only time consuming, expensive, and um, at a stage of company where we're at, um, we, we have to outsource and partner with the best providers of these services. So we spend our time architecting and building biosensors that work well and to provide a new user experience and building uh, our digital ecosystem on a platform that already exists that we can build on top of. Um, so the digital aspect of things is very challenging for, for companies in, at, at our stage in terms of uh, resource constraints and, and technical talent to build it out from scratch. So um, that digital health ecosystem is important to us. It's how we um, will provide value to the end user over time. Um, but it's also a critical path that we can't ignore and we don't have the ability to build uh, on our own from the ground up. Well, on the flip side, what's the digital health trend that will dominate market opportunity this year? General health and wellness. Metabolic health is everywhere. So I think with, um, with the pandemic, with COVID, um, a lot of the greatest comorbidities come with diabetes. So the whole world got an education on biology, COVID and diabetes and obesity. So the opportunity for awareness in understanding your metabolic health, this is um, a huge milestone for digital health um, to really go mainstream. So our goal is to create a form of biowearable that could really facilitate mainstream adoption. Leadership in life, business, career, there are codes, rules, norms, and how things are done. Where have you been a code breaker and how did you do it? Brutal transparency at all levels, all stakeholders. So um, it's hard enough to keep priorities focused with a team of people that are innovators. But to share the ups and downs, the transparency of the wins and the failures in real time with all stakeholders, with the doctors that we're working with, with the investors that are supporting us, with the employee base and with leadership, um, establishing a culture of transparency so we can solve problems together in a uniform way, um, the communication channels that have to be open and honest, um, it's very hard to come by um, at this time, especially as the world went to a remote work environment. Um, we could not go remote because of the nature of our business and the technology that we do. We, we have to be together under one umbrella. Um, so um, that brutal honesty and transparency across all stakeholders, that's been the most difficult thing to do. And that's the best way to build confidence and trust amongst everybody that is supporting this journey with us. Rich, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. What a pleasure. Appreciate it.